Asterix and the Golden Sickle. The fiercely independent little village where Asterix and the other Gauls live is at peace. Good hunting, Asterix. Nothing much today. Oblix is happily at work carving out a men here. There'll always be a Gaul. Cacophonix, the bard, is giving the children lessons. Well, young man, and into how many parts is Gaul divided? In short, everyone is contented. All is peace and plenty. Another boar, Oblix? Yes, please. When suddenly... Oh, by two tatties! What's all that shouting? It's the voice of our druid Gatifex. It's coming from that oak tree over there. Scrangler! What's the matter, O druid? By Bellinos, Tutatis, and Bellissima, I've broken my golden sickle. This is terrible. Mistletoe must be cut with a golden sickle if it is to have magic powers. It couldn't be worse timed. I have to start soon for the Forest of the Carnuts to attend the great annual conference of Gaulish Druids. I can't go without a sickle. All you have to do is buy another one. Good sickles don't grow on trees. The best, indeed, the only ones I consider worth using are made by the famous metallurgics in faraway Lutetia. He's right. It's well known that metallurgics makes the best sickles. You're right there. And Lutetia is a long way off. You have to pass through forests full of barbarians and bandits to get there. I am prepared to go to Lutetia, O oh Druid. Thank you for offering, Asterix. But I really l couldn't let you go off to Lutetia. I insist, O oh Druid. It's too far, too dangerous. Oh, well, in that case... Er, right, I accept. Oh, I'm coming too. Metallurgics is a distant cousin of mine. He's the big success in our family. Let's get going straight away. I'll tell the others. By Tutatis and Bellinos, I wish you a good journey and a speedy return with a fine golden sickle for a druid. You can count on us, O oh Chief Vital Statistics. Here's a spot of magic potion. It will make you invincible every time you drink it. Thanks. I will now give you a song of farewell. Goodbye. It's getting late. I've got a wild boar on the spit. Later. What's that men here for? It's a present for metallurgics. Just a little gift as a token of friendship. I've heard there are a lot of bandits about the forest just now. I think I'll take a drop of magic potion. All these feeble excuses about me falling into the cauldron of potion when I was a baby just to stop me having any. It's not fair. Have you got anything to pay for the sickle? Yes. I've got a hundred gold coins for the sickle and some bronze coins for incidental expenses. Did you hear that? Come on! Your money or your life! Do you suppose these are bandits? Very likely. Metallurgic must be doing well. Oh. Dunk, 
Yes, he is. What does he do with all the gold coins he gets for his sickles? Oh, he makes more sickles. Donk. I hope we aren't going to meet too many more bandits on the way. It does cut down on our average speed. Night is falling, Oblix. There's an inn near here called the Contrite Barbarian. We'll stop there. Danger, slippery flagstones. This inn is famous for specialty roast boar. Roast or just served raw as a simple little salad, boar is my favorite food. Welcome. You want a room? That's right, and two boars. Two for me, too. You can take our luggage to our room. And where are you going like that? To Lutetia. Ah, Lutetia. I've just come from Lutetia. Have you? A beautiful city, Lutetia. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Oh, come. We're only going there to buy a sickle. A sickle? Sickles are in short supply in Lutetia just now. Don't worry. We know where to go. Next morning. Alphidazan. Hey, Asterix. Why do you think that traveler told us sickles were in short supply in Lutetia? No idea, Oblix. Let's enjoy our journey. We can worry about that later. The Romans are ruining the landscape with all these modern buildings. Our friend's journey proceeds without much incident, apart from a few scuffles with bandits. At Swindenham, Asterix and Oblix are unable to find a bed, as it happens to be the day of the great ox cart race. The Swindenham 24 Hours. But at last, one day, look, Oblix, Lutetia! Isn't it big? What a lot of people! Fancy living here. Talk about pollution. Let's find Metallurgix's house as fast as we can. Out of the way there, barbarian! Who do you think you are, Ben-Hur? We'll ask that fisherman. He doesn't look too busy. Are they biting? What with all the muck people are throwing into that river? There aren't any fish left. I've got nothing but empty amphoras all morning. Do you know the way to Metallurgix's house, please? The sickle dealer? Third on the right. Metallurgic sickles. Druid specially catered for. Latest Lutetia fashions. Antiques. Knock, 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 knock. Bang, 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 bang. Looks as if no one's at home. Who are you looking for? Metallurgics. He's not there anymore. And if you take my advice, you won't hang around either. Slam. Come on. Let's break down the door. Careful. There are Roman patrols about. We're here to buy a sickle, not to get into trouble. Let's ask the landlord in there. The Mary Arvernian. What'll it be? Two mugs of beer, well drawn. 
You must be from the seaside up north. How can you tell? From your men here. I've got a good eye for these little details. I'm Arvernian myself. I come from near Jergovia. Jergovia? Where Vercingetorix beat Caesar. Tell me, friend, do you know Metallurgics, the sickle dealer? Metallurgics? I don't know anyone of that name. Drink up. It's closing time. Slam. Bang, bang. What do you want? I've come to warn you. There are two men looking for metallurgics. Metallurgics? Well, well. And what are these men like? No special distinguishing marks. A fat gall and a little gall. Oh yes, I forgot. One of them carries a men here about with them. A men here? Right, clear off, and keep your mouth shut if you want to stay alive. Don't worry, I'll be dumb as a dolman. Now to try and find these two nosy parkers. By Belenos, I think I'm in luck. This is serious. If our druid is to attend the conference in the forest of the Carnutes, we must get hold of a sickle for him. It's urgent. And we must get hold of a boar for me. That's urgent too. You make me sick, going on about boars all the time. And you bore me, going on about sickles. Oof. So sorry. How clumsy of me. Don't mention it. It was nothing. You look like strangers to our great city. Perhaps I can help you. We're looking for metallurgics. Metallurgics? Why, he's my best friend. And what do you want him for? What a lucky coincidence. We want to buy a golden sickle from him. Excellent, excellent. Metallurgics has retired and left Lutetia. Oh dear. But never mind. You come with me. I can get you a sickle at a very competitive price. Well, the thing is... And what am I going to do with my men here? Would you like to leave your things? A table for three, not too near the bards. By all means, follow me, please. Beer? No, goat's milk for me. A nice fat boar, please. Sorry, boar's off. So is the goat's milk. Never mind. Where are the sickles? Wait a moment. I'll be back directly. I am Navistrix, the owner of this establishment. My friend Clovo Garlex here tells me you're looking for golden sickles. As a matter of fact, I can get you a really top quality sickle. 3,000 gold coins, right? What? I've only got 100 gold coins. That's a fair price for a sickle. Take it or leave it. 
with the Druids Conference so close, sickles can't be had for love or money in Lutetia. It's bare-faced robbery! That's what! You needn't bring any more small-timers into this establishment. Who's a small-timer? You're a small-timer. That's who. Wait for me! Wait for me! Plank. My men here, please. That'll be two bronze coins. Come on, then! Carry on playing, bards! Asterix, can you lend me two bronze coins, please? Buff. Thanks. Wait for me, won't you? Here you are. I'm coming. Are there any left? Bang, bing, bong. Don't forget that I owe you a couple of bronze coins. Oh, that's all right between friends. Cave! A Roman raid! Ten to one, they're after us! All raids lead to Rome and the Circus Maximus. Let's get out of here. What's up? Is it over already? By Jupiter. Anyone might think we were in Pompeii. Shall we carry on? No, it would be better to explain. Did you do all this? Yes, and we were very restrained. Follow me. You can give an account of yourself to the centurion. Vare retro. Move along there. Vare retro. Ave, Centurion. Ave, Desirion. What's going on? These two men have broken up Navistrix's place. Hey, if I get it right, a, a Centurion is higher up than a Desirion. Ten times higher up. That's a good job well done. Throw these two Gauls into prison. We may pass sentence on them, if we ever get around to it. By Tutatis! I've had enough of this! Look here! Silence, Gaul! I fear I am about to break the Pax Romana! Oh, do you? Yes, I do! Shall we get them? Shall we get them? Pax, gentlemen, Pax. All the shouting is upsetting the prefix dinner. He wants you to go and explain what's up. Now, look what you've done. You've upset the prefect of Lutetia. Now you'll have to explain yourself to him. I suppose the next one up from a centurion is a millurion. Ave, o surplus dairy produs. Ave, o chap, ave. Who are these people disturbing my meal? Gauls. Some Gauls have been having a punch-up. I'm tired of Gauls. They're always fighting. It's such a bore. These two Gauls have broken up Nabistrix's place. Had a drop too much beer, eh? No. We were just trying to buy a golden sickle for our druid. I always thought Nabistrix was mixed up in the sickle trafficking business. 
How very perspicacious of you, O surplus dairy produce. All right, all right. Release these galls. I find them tiring. What a bore, what a bore. What is this all about a sickle trafficking business? Oh, there's a gang of golden sickle traffickers in Lutetia. Sickles are in great demand because of the conference in the forest of the Carnuts. What did he mean? What a bore. I can't see one anywhere. So now they have the monopoly, especially as metallurgics disappeared without leaving any forwarding address. But then, perhaps they've kidnapped metallurgics. Kidnapped or murdered. Well, off you go. And I don't want to see any more of you. <laughs> Poor cousin metallurgics. Boo -hoo, poor cousin metallurgics. We'll find him, Oblix, for a start. What does your cousin look like? What does he look like? I've no idea. I've never set eyes on him. Let's go back to his house. We might find a clue there. So we might. How can I be expected to know what he looks like when I've never seen him? Sometimes Asterix just doesn't stop to think. The door is locked, of course. Leave it to me. I'll open it. Crash! There you are. What a mess! That's funny. We're rather tidy in my family. There's been a fight in here. Look, Metallurgix has left his personal belongings and his kitchen utensils behind. But his tools, his sickles... And his money are all missing, Oblix. Your cousin's been kidnapped by the sickle traffickers. <laughs> Poor Metallurgics. Well, this proves Metallurgics is still alive. We'll find him by two tutties. Oh, goody. Let's move in here. And first, let's go and do some shopping. Good idea. Later. What a price bore is in Lutetia. And the butcher said prices were going to rise even higher. It's a poor lookout for Gaul. The sun rising on Lutetia is greeted by a cockerel. Get up, Oblix. It's time to start our investigation. That's right. We must find metallurgics. Let's go back to that Ivernian in the wine shop. I'm sure he knows something. Oh, the son of Massilia. Could you tell us where to find the Ivernian who... Oh, I expect you mean the former proprietor. That crazy Gaul who sold me this place for a handful of bronze coins. It's under new management now, but you won't be disappointed. I can offer you my specialty, fish soup. Made of nice, fresh fish just arrived by Oxcart from Massilia. Do you know where the Arvernian has gone? Oh, he started for Jergovia this morning. Traveling by ox cart. The same as the fish. What a shame. If you'd come a little sooner, you'd have found him still here. Thanks. All these Lutetians are crazy by Bellissima. We'll catch up with the Arvernian on the way to Jerovia. Right. He can't have got far, and on foot we're as fast as any ox cart. Of course we are. The oxen are on foot too. Can you tell me the way to Jerovia, please? Take Roman Road 7. What a lot of traffic! 
There must often be amphora necks on fine days. That's what's called real driving. They're crazy. Just keep an eye on your oxen. Accidents can happen so quickly. I still don't see our Arvernian friend. Maybe that cart at the top of the hill or there. It's it's them. The Arvernian in front there. Let's go. And the great race is on. Gee up, gee up. I'm going to overtake. Bong. What's the matter? What do you want? Where's Metallurgics? Tell us all you know. Not talking, eh? Stop! Stop! Leave him to me, Asterix. Let me have a go. One day, some men came and took Metallurgics away. I happened to be passing, and they were going to take me too. But one of the men, called Clover Garlics, let me go on condition I told him if anyone came looking for Metallurgics. They forced me to be their accomplice, but I'm innocent, really. Right. The Arvernian has given his given us Clover Garlics's address. We'll go there. We ought to have kept one of the oxen for a snack. I'll never set foot in Lutetia again. According to what the Arvernian told us, this should be Clover Garlics's house. Open up, Clover Garlics! Open up, by Tutatis! Boom, boom. Shall we bash it in? Yes, let's bash it in. Good. Crash. Nobody at home. Let's search the place. Bang, crap. Bing, bling, bang, bada bong, crash. By Minerva, you again. Come on, move. Shall we bash him in? No, Oblix, not just now. Soon afterwards. To think, we only came to buy a sickle. Long live Versinga Torex. Hello. What are you inside for? <laughs> We're looking for a man called Clover Garlics. I know him. He used to work at Navistrix's place. Navistrix had a lovely little wine from Gallia Narbonsis. <laughs> lovely little wine. All done for now. <laughs> all over. It's sad, sad. Boo -hoo. <laughs> Any idea where Nabistrix and Clover Garlics might have gone? No, <laughs> but I often heard them arranging to meet under the dolmen. <laughs> under the dolmen? It's a clue. Only a slight clue, but a clue. Let's get out of here. Right. Crash. Long live Versengent Torex. Help! Raise the alarm! The prisoners are escaping! <laughs> this is no time for fooling, Oblix. We've got a lot of important things to do. Stop! By Mercury! 
My master, the prefect, is a complaining about the noise. He orders you to go and explain what's happening. You gulls disturbing me again, just when I was so nice and bored. They've demolished a house, the prison door, and seven legionaries. I find that almost amusing. It's quite good. As a reward, I shall set these two gulls free. Soon afterwards, long live Virgator Satrej! We must find the dolmen where Clover Garlics and Nabistrix meet. It won't be easy. You never know. The Lutitians can't have many dolmens. Poor things. We should be able to get some information over there. Visit Lutetia, Claudius Omnibus Guide. Do you want to see our beautiful city? No, we want to see some dolmens. We haven't any dolmens around here. Surely there must be at least one. Sigh. Poor things. Just a minute. Now I come to think of it, I have heard of a dolmen in the forest. The forest over where the sun sets. Just the job. Take us to that forest. No. There are wolves and bandits in that forest. Wouldn't you rather see a show at the famous Mola Rubra? Three sesterti and as much beer as you can drink. No, thank you. Let's go and find that forest over where the sun sets. One single solitary dolmen. Poor things. The sun god Belenos himself is showing us the way. That's nice of him. You're not afraid of coming across wolves, are you? No, but I hope we come across some boars as well, because I'm hungry, and I don't like wolf. We'll probably come across bandits, too. No, thanks. I don't fancy bandit, either. Our two friends make their way towards the thick forest, as yet unaware that it will become the Bois de Boulogne. Where are you off to? The forest. The forest dangerous at night, what with wolves and bandits. <laughs> we gulls don't know the meaning of fear. Speak for yourself. I'm a gull, and I'm afraid. Which shall we come across first, wolves or bandits? Shall we have a bet? If it's wolves, you buy a round of beer. If it's bandits, I will. Done. Haroo! Wolves, I've won! Beastly animals. The howling's coming from over there. It's always me who loses bets. It's not fair. Arr! What did I tell you? Oh, of course. Mr. Asterix is the clever one. Mr. Asterix knows everything. Arr! There must be something to eat up there. Help! What did I tell you? You still lost the bet, Smarty. Arr! That bet wasn't fair. It was you who thought of it. Don't be such a rotten sport, Oblex. 
Sorry to interrupt, but could you possibly see your way to helping me? Arrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
warm rays of brilliant sunshine light up a cloudless sky. Little birds warble on the leafy branches. Squirrels play on the mossy ground. While underneath the mossy ground, ouch! Plaf! Boom! Yeah. Get them, Oblex! You bet I will, Asterix! Are there any left, Asterix? No, Oblex, you're just finishing off the last one. Let's get out of here and warn the boss! Oblix, I'm a bit worried. I can't find Navistrix. He can't have come to any harm. He was here just now. Anyway, I've got clove of garlics. That's something. You lot, hop it! We won't need you anymore. What happened? Would someone please enlighten me? Not you. You've got some talking to do. I will tell you nothing. Right. Off you go, Oblix. I'll tell you everything. I don't know a great deal. This is just an underground store for the sickles. Metallurgics made them, and the Bistrics used to bring them here. My cousin Metallurgics. Where's Metallurgics? The big boss is keeping him prisoner. So, Navistrix isn't the big boss? No, but Navistrix is the only one who knows his identity. By Tutatis, may the sky fall on my head if I tell a lie. Let's go and try to find this big boss. Right. What about me? What are you going to do with me? You stay here to look after the sickles. They belong to metallurgics. Of course, with pleasure. Poor stupid fools. As soon as their backs are turned, I'll be off with the sickles. Soon afterwards. This stone over the trapdoor will help our friend Clover Garlics overcome temptation. He does know some nasty swear words. Let's get back to Lutetia quickly and try to find the Vestrix. He can lead us to the trafficker's boss. A little later. Who'll buy my lettuce? Lovely Lutetia lettuce. Olive oil from Greece. Savory Lundunum sausage. You know, Asterix, I think it's market day today. And a little further on, I want a steak, please. A nice prime steak? Ah, that's better. This is very good meat. Oblix, look! There he is! That'll be too sustenti. What the? It's not as dear as all that! There he is, running that way. Stop, thief! My steak! My prime steak! Which way did he go? My prime steak! What's all that commotion? Bang! By Apollo! You again! I could say the same thing, Roman. Grab hold of these two men. Look here. Be reasonable. Shall we get them, Asterix? No, Oblix. I'm sure we shall be able to explain everything. What about my prime steak? Who's going to pay for my prime steak? Soon afterwards. By all the gods, those two again? 
Ah, the centurion, I brought in two galls. What about my prime? Steak! Listen, Roman, we can explain everything. Not a word! Put them in chains and lock them up separately. And just what are you going to do about my prime steak? I'll show you what I'm going to do about your prime steak. Later. Did you catch the thief? No. Give me a nice steak. Are we just going quietly? I think I've made a mistake. We'll have to escape. Silence! We'll put the fat one in here. See you in a minute, Asterix. I'll give you the go-ahead, Oblix. Right. Meanwhile, I'll have a little snooze. In you go, Gaul. Don't bother to shut the door. I'm only passing through. Right. A quick swig of magic potion and then I'll get rid of these silly chains. Ouch! How am I going to get a hold of the magic potion? Hey! I know you! Hello? You still here? Yes, I did. Get out. But they put me back inside. Listen, get this gourd out of my belt and give me a drop to drink. Long live, heck, virgin Ceratox. Something, heck, something to drink? Is it good? Hurry up, by Tutatis, you inebriated, overflowing amphora. Are you going to get this gourd for me? No. You're not very kind. I'm sulking. Listen, it's very good stuff, and you can have a drop yourself. Yeah. In that case, all right. Glug, 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 glug. It's got a funny taste. Crack! Long live Virgo Gatrasex! Shut up! You coming, Oblix? I'm coming, Asher. Crack! Long live Gago Trigerex! Will you shut up? Long live Virgitrocerex! <laughs> Are you going to shut up? Silence! Quit? By Jupiter, it's those perishing goals again. Legionaries, follow me! It had to happen. Here they come. Goody! Fortunately, I've just had some magic potion. I'm feeling very fit. Clang. Myself, I feel a little weak. It's the lack of food. Help! Oh no. That's enough. Let's get out of here. Wouldn't you like me to finish off this cohort first? We've got other things to do, Oblix. We must find the Vistrix. My master, Surplus Dairy Protoss, wishes to know the reason for this BAM! Uproar! <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> that stuff I drank left me feeling thirsty. Stop that man! Hick. Hick. 
just let me out. I'm going to have a beer, and then hick, I'll be back. Hick. Now then, long live Versingato, long live thingy. Heck. Meanwhile, where on earth is the way out? Halt! You can't go in there. Prefix surplus dairy produce is in there. Good! We've got a word or two to say to the prefect. Oh. It's them, boss. You talk too much, Navistrix. You bore me. There they are. Excuse us, O oh surplus dairy produce. These Gauls will be punished for their effrontery in daring to disturb you. Hear, hear! Your prefect is a bandit. He's the boss of the golden sickle traffickers. Rubbish! You'll pay for your insolence, Gaul. Just try it. Here we go again. Leave him alone. That man is telling the truth. I am indeed the boss of the golden sickle traffickers. Quis, quid, ube, quibug, auxilis cur, comodo cando. Just a parsing fancy. I did it for a bit of fun. I'm so bored. I did it for money as well. Money is one of the only things that still interests me. Hata es fabula. Pass me a chicken, Nabistrix. Is this any moment to speak Latin and stuff yourself? What about metallurgics? Where is he? Yes, where's my dear little cousin? If you mean the sickle manufacturer I, arrest, I had arrested, he's keeping cool in the cellar. Come on! Are you sure you don't want any chicken, Nabistrix? I'm not a bit hungry. Not a bit. Metallurgix! I'm your cousin Oblix! Oblix? Pleased to meet you. And this is my friend Asterix. Delighted, I'm sure. Er, are you prisoners too? Or have you come to set me free? You're free, Metallurgix. Free! Remove his chains and put the chains on these two. A bit of fun at last. When Caesar knows I've gone to the bad, he'll be furious. He'll condemn us to row in his galleys, or better still, to be eaten by the lions of the circus. We're going to have a few laughs, if you call that a few laughs. I know where your other sickles are, metallurgics, under a dolmen in the forest. Let's go and get them straight away. You can put me down now, Cousin Oblix. A few hours later. Poor old Clover Garlix. He ran away as if Tutatis himself were after him. Hee <laughs> hee, by Belanos. We won't see him back in Lutusia in a hurry. Come on in. We'll celebrate that. What a good appetite you've got, Cousin Oblix. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Scrunch, scrunch. We haven't completed our mission yet, Metallurgix. We came to buy a golden sickle from you for our druid. I'll give you this one, the finest of them all. But we want to pay. 
No, no, I owe you so much, wouldn't hear of it. Well, in that case... I brought you a little present too, Metallurgics. It's a men here. You can put it anywhere you like. Now, we must get back to our village. The druid is waiting for his sickle. Goodbye, Cousin Metallurgics. Come and see us soon. Thanks for everything. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Don't be silly. It was nothing. With their golden sickle at last, our two friends leave Lutetia for an uneventful journey. I love Lutetia in the springtime. Apart from a few rash bandits, I tell you, the sky has fallen on our heads. A few foolhardy barbarians. That was kind of thing to do. Nine eat nick was. Come along, Oblux, don't dawdle. And several careless wild boars. Their journey, as we said, was uneventful. Look, Oblux, there's our village. Great! Come on, everyone! Asterix and Oblix are back! They'll be able to tell us what's being worn in Lutetia this season. Welcome back, brave warriors! I will now compose an ode for this glorious occasion. Just you try it. Here is your golden sickle, O Druid Gadafix. Thank you, my friends. I knew you wouldn't fail me. All our friends gather together for a great feast to celebrate the return of the heroes with the beautiful golden sickle, which will bring glory and fame to the village. That's funny. Our bard Cacophonix hasn't turned up to sing us one of his odes. Mm. Mm. The end.